Hello, this is Steve Wilson in the XCraft CRJ Family Video Tutorial Series. And in this video, we're going to use the Tech 10 FMS to enter a complete flight plan. And as you can see, I've got uh, my notes in front of me here. Uh, pretty much where I am, where I'm going, and how I'm going to get there. Uh, the departure airport, the departure runway, the departure uh, instrument departure, the sit, sit, in other words. Uh, I'm going to use the B-ball transition, and those are the waypoints that I expect to see on uh, my FMS. Uh, when I arrive in Las Vegas, I'm going to presume I'll be uh, landing on runway one left uh, using the Tyson 5 star. And I expect to see three waypoints uh, Tyson, Susie, and Perno when I've got that entered. Uh, along the way, I'm going to visit three VORs PXR, DRK, IGM. And we're also going to use two fixes, Zates and Caddy. Uh, we're going to fly at 20,000 feet at a Mach point uh, 74. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to enter, and uh, we'll just go ahead and get started on that. First thing to do, though, is to initialize the FMS. This puts your present position into uh, waypoint slot 0. Uh, that's your origins, pretty much where you're parked. Uh, go ahead and check your status to validate your air axle cycle. Excuse me. Uh, 1906 is valid from 23 May to 19 June of 2019, and it is June the second. So technically, I'm legal at this point. Uh, this is a little bit of extra authenticity that more or less applies more to, to folks who frequently update their navigation data. Absolutely has no impact whatsoever on the on the uh, simulation itself, um, as long as your data is consistent. You'll have a good time. Okay, let's go ahead and change the uh, call sign since we're going to Vegas, baby. And that uh, seems to suit the spirit of the mission. Okay, we're good to go on the initialization page. Let's head over to Perf. And what we'll do here is we'll enter the four values on the left. Now, you have a, a range between 20 and 35 percent of MAC, uh, percent of mean aerodynamic cord. Uh, those of you who are familiar with uh, weight and balance calculations from general aviation know that you're basically calculating moment arms from a, a common reference point, uh, basically being a plane usually close to the nose of the airplane. In an airliner, they actually reference uh, CG relative to the wing, and that's how we're doing this here. Uh, so I'm gonna just, go, just going to go ahead and leave it at default. Uh, the, aircraft, the aircraft flies rather nicely at that uh, setting. And uh, let's see, we default uh, to a half passenger load. Let's go ahead and load her up today. Uh, let's see, let's, let's say we have 45 passengers. And notice that this changes your weight. Uh, this does actually change the simulation weight as well, but we are when we add passengers, each passenger gets 185 uh, pounds for themselves plus 60 uh, pounds uh, for baggage and over uh, over the entire load that average is up to usually pretty accurate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add let's call it 5,000 pounds of payload and this could be just about anything you want. Uh, mail basically, packages, that sort of thing, extra baggage. Um, you can also change your fuel weight. Uh, this particular flight I know happens to take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so, depending upon uh, the approach at the final uh, destination. So let's go ahead and plan for, uh, say, 4,500 pounds. We don't need as much as we have, so we can save uh, the airline some money. Okay, we're good to go there. The engines are running, which is why that automatically counts down. We'll come back to perf when we actually start uh, getting close to the runway and taking off uh, normally, uh, and that's the point at which uh, the top right-hand uh, corner of perf one will be important. But let's go ahead and head out over to perf two real quick, where we will enter our cruise airspeed. And every time I enter something, it's going to gripe about what's missing. That's normal, and we're cruising at twenty thousand feet. Okay, so far so good. We'll visit this just uh, before we load the uh, flight plan in. Uh, that will also give us our distance and time calculation. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back over here to enter our departure information. Okay. Okay. 
and the VWAL transition. Good to go. Take a look at the waypoints. Sit edit. Okay, that uh, has my departure airport, my departure fix, then my SID, Burroughs, Splits, Ryan, B-Ball, all good. Go ahead and enter my arrival. And uh, runway one. And uh, let's see, let's go looking for Tyson 5. Tyson 5, all is what we want. Wouldn't you know, last entry on page five. Okay, good to go there. Let's bounce back over to the index, take a look at the SID. Oh, or rather the star, excuse me. Tyson, Susie Preno, and uh, the visual approach fix, and Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. Good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and enter into the route now. We'll go ahead and go to the master route page, and excuse me, the master route menu, technically speaking, and we'll add some route waypoints. It defaults to fix, so we'll go ahead and change that to VOR. We'll enter the first VOR, which is PXR. Put that in the nav aid, and we're flying at 20,000 feet. Good to go there. Save that, change it back to green, ready for the next one. Uh, the waypoint type persists as well as does the altitude, unless you change it in the, in the subsequent waypoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter DRK. Save that, enter IGM, enter and save that. Now we're going to uh, go to Zates, which is a fix. I'll change the type to fix. You can see that up here. We're still at 20,000 feet, so let's enter the ID. Super good, and save that. And then Katie. Okay, save that. Okay, that's our entire route. Let's go we'll take a look at it in the route editor. PXR, DRK, IGM, Zates, and Caddy, all Mach 0.74, all 20,000 feet. This is perfect. All right, now let's head back over to Perf 2. And you can see we now have a distance of 373.98 miles to fly, and we expect a flight time and route of um, uh, about an hour and five minutes. Uh, you don't get this information if you press exec before you come to this page. So I do highly recommend before you press exec, I know we're all eager to, but we'll want to go ahead and make sure that uh, we are uh, looking at our distance and time and route. And we can also enter our wind direction. If we average our winds uh, aloft on route, come up with a general idea of what the winds are going to be, what the speed will be. Uh, if the cruise uh, outside air temperature is a little colder or a little bit warmer, that actually affects true airspeed and uh, changes our calculation somewhat. So that pretty much covers uh, that. Perf 3 isn't going to have anything yet because we're not flying. And we can just bounce right back to the MCDU index for right now. Okay. There are three places where you can press exec and it will actually work. Repeat that. There are only three places where you can press exec and it will actually load your flight plan. The first is the MCDU index. The second is progress one. And the third is flight plan. So you can see that flight plan is not loaded, but we'll go ahead and enter it right now. There we go. Flight plan exec, done. Everything's now loaded into the flight plan, which you can see here. This is the first waypoint we'll fly to, and of course, in sequence, Burrow, Splits, Ryan, B-Ball, and what have you. Now I want to show you something that's a little on the cool side, and uh, this is kind of the icing on the cake, because we're all done for all intents and purposes. If I change the range here, notice that we can see our, 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 our entire flight plan as we're, as we're heading, so we'll get a good visual depiction of it. One other thing we can do, I'm going to close this down for a second. We can go from the full map to the plan map. And you can see down here, just below, that now centers the waypoint, uh, centers, centers the map on the destination waypoint, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and bring that back up. This is how you can examine uh, your entire route before you even fly it. So I'm going to use the, the, uh, down arrow keys on my keyboard, and I'm going to step through my flight plan. 
I'm going to change the range down just a little bit more. There we go. That looks good. So now we are headed to, to Burrow, then to Splits, then to Ryan, B-Ball, PXR, DRK, IGM, Zates, Caddy, Tyson, Susie, Preno, Visual Approach Fix, and Las Vegas, Nevada, McCarran International Airport. That's where we're going. And let's go ahead and go back to plan mode. And of course, that brings you right back to where you are uh, at Tucson International. And you are ready to fly. Uh, that covers it. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, by all means, please do pay us a visit at, at explain.org. The XCraft CRJ Family Forums, happy to take any questions and give you whatever help you need to get, uh, to get this uh, working for you. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one.